Hey everyone, Clint Butler here from Olympia SEO and I want to thank you for watching. This video is a short and sweet tutorial on how to add users to Google Analytics. So first you have to get to Google Analytics. I'm just going to assume you have an account already, but if not, just type Google Analytics into Google and pop up and click the second result. You can click the top one too if Google wants to pay their own ads. I don't even know if they do that, but there you go. And what that'll do is bring you to this page. Here you can access analytics, tag manager, optimize data studio, and more. So I recommend bookmarking this page versus the direct link to Google Analytics because there's just so much more stuff that you can get to. In the end, you want to click on analytics right here. Now you're going to be brought to a typical view. And if you have a default view set up like I do, it'll come into your... Um, your view or if it's the only one if not it's not the only one you're gonna get a bunch of them like this and you just select the one you want in this case we're gonna be working with this one here so I'm gonna click on it now what you have to do is scroll down to the bottom of the screen and I have to change the shape here of this in order for you to see it and you're gonna see the admin button right here click on that Here's where you have to make a choice. You have account, property, and view. If you're giving your agency access, I would select the property option. And if you're giving specific users access and you have different views for each, uh, let's say you have an IT department, a marketing department, uh, and the sales department, and they're all looking at different numbers. So you set up some different views or views specifically for what they need, and you don't want people going in there and changing each other's stuff. Um, then you select the view. Uh, if you have one property in here, you can really use the account or property, either one is going to work. Uh, but if, say, you have multiple websites like we do, then we just add to the property. So you click on the user management here. And this is really simple you just add the email account for the person you're going to add now this account has to be already a google account uh, it doesn't necessarily have to have google they don't have to like create it and then go to google analytics and create an account but they do need to have a google account uh, so make sure that that's set up and then you click on the permissions Typically, edit, collaborate, and read and analyze are great for your marketing teams or your agencies or if you're adding an SEO. Uh, or you can click on manage users as well. I caution against that if you don't want to have to worry about people adding new users or maybe you getting accidentally deleted out of your own thing. Um, so typically, as a general rule, just stick to the bottom three and you're okay. Here's a caveat. Let's say you have uh, your account, your Google account closed for whatever reason, and now you can't get access to your analytics. You lost all that data, and you've been in there for a year, and you want it. If you had a second account added as a met as a user in there, they can still access it with that second account. So uh, keep a a backup Google account for you or, you or your business, and make that a manager with all these permissions so that you don't have to do anything. You can click on this, notify this user by email, and then click add, and you are all set. They will get an email saying, hey, they've been invited to access. Uh, if you forget, it's okay. Just tell them that you, you added them, and they'll go in their analytics account, and all your stuff will be there. Uh, but otherwise, if you click that, they'll just get an email saying, hey, you've been invited for access, and that's all you have to do. Everything else is taken care of. You can change permissions. You just click on this little box up here, and you change and delete, add and remove as needed. So that's it. That is how to add users to a Google Analytics account.